what's up it's your girl bright eyes and i'm going to show you another tutorial um right now i'm going to use my iq designer to transfer this image into my computer i'll show you it the spongebob square pants this one that i just found on the internet Okay, I'm just going to look for IQ Designer. Not IQ Designer, it's IQ Positioning. And so I'm going to select an image for um, for design and I'm gonna pick Spongebob and I'm gonna send it to the machine sending it to the machine it's already there so I'm gonna click on IQ designer and I'm gonna go to Illustrate Design. And I'm gonna click Wi Fi. And I'm gonna look for the image. And that's the image I want. And I'm gonna click Set. And it's kind of big. So I really would love it to be a little bit small. And uh, for the size, it's kind of big for my hoop size. Right now I'm using a four by four hoop. But I'm not gonna do anything. It's fine the way it is, so I'm gonna. Okay, so I decided to um, bring him up in illustration design now. And um, I really would like to get him a bit smaller because he's pretty much touching my hoop size. And um, let's see. I'm going to click here because I want to shrink him more. So I'm gonna go, and he is too big for the hoop. So I'm just gonna shrink him a little bit more so he can fit the hoop. I'll say okay. And um, he's missing some of his colors, so I'm gonna add some colors to him to, um, make him look like what I have here. So, I'm gonna blow him up and I would like his eyes to be blue. So I'm gonna click here. And I would like his tie to be red. So I'm going to um, go, go and change the color for a more red color. So I'm going to go here and change his tie red. in here and give him like an orange red right almost look the same though um, we'll see if I could change yeah, like an orange red click ok Ew. oh man 
the line thing. Let me see if it'll work with the bucket, if the bucket be better. It like disappear. Let me undo it. Okay, so let me put the bucket. See what happens. Okay, that's better. And with the dots, just like in the drawing, I'm gonna just draw a couple dots. He <gasps> turned his whole face red. Oh no. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Okay, I think it's fine the way it is. <laughs> let me see. Yeah, it's okay. So let me reduce the size. It is fine the way it is. I don't need to do anything more to this drawing. Okay. Get myself in trouble. So let me go next. And see what it looks like when we preview it. And click OK. Yay! It looks way better now. And oh, it's going to take a long time to do this. So we're ready to get it embroidery. Okay, so I have my um, my embroidery, the first one, and I'm going to start embroidery right now. All I have to do is press the green button right here, and here we go. Isn't that beautiful? And the white part, I forgot to change the bobbin. I forgot, um, the bobbin was black and I forgot to switch it to white. But other than that, it still looked really amazing. And I just copied this picture off the internet, imported, imported it through my machine, and my machine did this. Got no background in digital design or anything. I'm learning as I grow, but as I learn, I'm just going to, um, you know, take my time and try to learn the software. So I just want to show y'all how amazing this software is and what you could do with just this machine alone without a software. So you don't need the software, you could do a lot without it. The only thing I'm finding with the machine when it comes to doing small designs is doesn't seem to work that well unless the unless the designs unless you import the design small. I think if you import it small, they will work. But if this was very large when I imported to the machine, it was a very large design and I was able to shrink it this small. So that's pretty good to be able to shrink it because it was extremely large. So um, that's the only thing, but I think it's amazing. So uh, I just want y'all to I just want y'all to know what this machine could do. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.